Now that's impressive. <laughs> Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yep. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. Or excellent. What? What's up, Steam Deck fans? Steam Deck Tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion, was good? Steam Deck Mob, what's happening? Steam Deck Squad, what's up? And to you Steam Deck nerds, geeks, freaks, and you investigators, what's happening? So, this handheld, man? Oh, yeah, love it. <laughs> hey, um, you guys should try uh, Dave the Diver. If you like games that deal with the ocean, games like uh, Songs of the Deep, Abzu, Sea of Thieves, uh, At Atlas, games that deal with the ocean. Oh, yeah. Dave, Dave the Diver, man. Yeah, fun little game. But yeah, this this Steam Deck, man. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> definitely worth it. Oh yeah, worth worth every penny you pay for it. You're getting your money's worth. Oh, by the way, you do know that Overwatch 2 comes out August 10th. Steam Deck. <laughs> yeah, you guys are getting spoiled there. Look, what I got for you guys. Oh, speaking of which. Says here. Small Steam Deck update. Make a big change in finding compatible games. See? The updates, the updates for the Steam Deck improve the user experience. Try to tell you. Anyway, it says here. Uh, uh, the latest beta client update for the Steam Deck has brought with it a series of fixes for the handheld, but also new settings to make finding games easier. Yeah, says here, uh, it can be tedious tasks trying to find out the compatibility status of your favorite Steam Deck game. While you can check out the individual status of each game by visiting their Steam page, the latest beta client update has now made progress even easier for owners of the PC gaming handheld. And it says here, uh, with more games becoming Steam Deck compatible every day, yeah, and you, and you guys got 10,000 plus games, man, and the list is growing. But anyway, it, it can be overwhel overwhelming trying to decide what to play on the PC gaming handheld. If you currently have the Steam Deck in hand, oh yeah, like me, anyway, you have to go through the process of selecting every game you wish to see the compatibility status of. Status of. That was until the latest Steam Beta Client update. In this update, Valve enables the ability to see a game verified ratings without having to click on the game itself. It says to enable it, the latest feature, all you have to do is go to settings and scroll to the bottom of the library submenu and turn on show Steam Deck compatibility information in library. And then it says here, the new options allow you to see the Steam Deck verified status of any game you hover over while browsing your Steam library. For example, if a game has just been labeled playable, you'll see the small yellow icon appear on the corner of the title cover art while you hover over it with your cursor. Oh yeah, it says that it's worth noting that while Steam games can be identified as playable, even verified by Valve, it doesn't always mean that those without either coveted status won't work on your PC gaming handheld. We found some. Of, we found some. Some of the best Steam Deck games work perfectly without any indicators of the official status of a game compatibility alongside able to spot your favorite verified beta I mean verified games the beta update has also provided the valve handheld with some general fixes to see the full list of fixes and update part of the beta client you can view the community page on, on the steam's website oh yeah I told you they were busy Oh yeah, games, deals, and updates, man. They have they have been um they have been very 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 busy. Now, what did they fix? Let's take a look. All right, <clears throat> what did they fix? Let me get through this list here. Nice little nice nice little list. It says your Steam client beta July 18th. It says the Steam client beta has been updated with the following changes. 
Fix some con fix some general. Fix some confirmation dialogue not closing with the cancel or X button. Fix clear download cat. If I cut this off. Fix says fix clear down cache. Also deleting cache login information. Add timer to overlay. You can enable this button in the in-game settings. Fix an issue that could cause the Steam guard code to fail the first time it's it is entered and then succeed immediately after that. Then it says fix Steam overlay not res respecting window scale factor of full screen window at height uh, uh, 12, 1200 uh, uh, pixels. Says your uh, library. Uh, add the ability to sort by date. Add Add the ability to sort by date. Add it to library to sh shelves and game and game grids. Added a setting to display Steam Deck compatibility information in the library while not on a Steam Deck. Hmm. Then it says developer console. Added a settings to display timestamp in the Steam console window. Change Steam console window to keep the last several seconds of output, even if that could exceed the normal buffer length. Fix command echo sometimes appearing on the same line as the previous output. Fix clear underscore console command not doing anything. Now, for Mac OS, says okay, uh, fix, fix file chooser dialog not opening for some action. Fix file chooser not allowing directories to be selected in some cases. Fix Steam app pulling focus back to previous space when switching to a space without a Steam client windows on it. Fix app hiding not working with Steam client windows. Fix Steam client windows not allowing dragging past the height of the title bar on the main screen when running with multiple displays. Hmm. And then it says fix navigation menus not opening on mouse over of buttons when the store or community browser are focused. And now for Linux, fix a case where the controller input thread could operate at normal instead of high scheduling pri priorities. And fix the file dialog not appearing in some cases for a system without an active XDG dash desktop dash portal. And that is that. Now you got 57 discussions. <laughs> I guess people are responding to it. So yeah, uh, people are uh, they're on it, man. They're they are they're updating the Steam Deck on a regular basis. They're on it. You know, um, the updates it um, improve it improves uh, the user experience. You know, ever since they opened that uh, that uh, that dialogue between their users. To get to give them feedbacks, it's been working ever since. So yeah, the more updates this system get, the better the the user experience. Oh yeah, you gotta get gotta get your hands on um, you get, gotta get your hands on one of these, man. <laughs> Fell asleep on me here. Oh yeah, you got you, get, you gotta get, you gotta get your hands on one of these. But yeah, this thing, the Steam Deck. Oh yeah, definitely worth it. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's good that they improve the, uh, uh, um, like your your um, the rating system and how how you select your games. Yeah, they are they are Valve is busy, man. <laughs> All the developers that contributed to uh, to make the Steam Deck possible. Yeah, they're 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 listening and they're updating. So yeah, but then on top of that, they give you deals. <laughs> so yeah, you guys are good, man. Yeah. Says there's some tweaks that prevent the Steam from updating, but there's no way to roll back and update. This is people sending them their feedbacks. Yep. In the comment section. Add the ability to sort by date, add it to library to shelves and game grids. Great stuff. But would love to have this feature in the left bar for free game for free games to be tracked as well. The data is already in a, in account detail, so I am guessing it's possible. <laughs> yeah, these are the users talking. Man. Oh yeah. So 
that 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 line of we're we're, li we're living in the era of social media, so um, communication is very important. <laughs> you know, communication is priority one in video games. You know, you can't you can't just make a console and then thinking you're just gonna sit back and then that's it. No, you gotta talk to your users. You know? keep 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 them informed. Somebody said when the wallet balance is zero after payment or pending balance becomes available, the upper right balance will not be updated. It says when the, when opening Steam and select save account in the log interface for entering the account and password will pop up. So there's no need to enter and wait a few of seconds before the login is successful, even when switching accounts. The back key still often leads you to the wrong page. They'll fix that. <laughs> it says high RAM usage and unsmooth interface animation. Sometimes Steam Web Helper .exe crashes. Some views notification will still pop up on logins. Oh, they'll fix it. I'm I'm on the um I'm on the beta page, so people are sending their feedbacks. Oh yeah, they'll take care of it. Val, Val the the employees at Valve will read through all this. Engine and oh yeah, they'll they'll have some answers for these uh, questions that people are, are asking, you know. So yeah, but it's good that they it was good that they opened a line of communi a, a line of communication. Somebody somebody said uh, anyone going to fix the back button? <laughs> somebody said fix HDR before Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> somebody said fix HDR before Ratchet and Clank comes out. <laughs> and someone someone else said yeah, uh, that's what I thought. I had to. Wait a minute. Whoops. Nope, not that one. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, they're, they're, yeah, that line of communication was very important, man. Could you could, ima imagine if they never responded to none of these? How long how long that pa how long this uh, page would be? <laughs> yeah. Since the overlay scale and fixed word on 150% and 175, that's in the maximum scale that my screen at 1080p as on Windows, the issue is present at 125%. Oh, they'll take care of that. Somebody say, Valve, please let us swap the achievement sound file without checking if anything, without checking it every time after Steam restart and replace it with the diff with the default sound file so we can use our own sound, please. <laughs> yeah, these, these fans, man, these Steam Deck fans, man. They love they love their Steam Decks, man. Oh yeah. Let's see what else. Anybody else? So so many response here. It says add the ability to sort the date added to the library to shelves and game grids. I do not see this anywhere. How do I see this? They'll respond to this. <laughs> Say fix Steam overlay not working. Not respecting window scale factor, full screen windows at high, not working. Well, they'll fix it. Literally fix two bugs I reported. Respect. <laughs> Somebody said thank you for your hard work, but nothing at all done about the screenshot issue, or are you still watching on them? I guess I'll find out when I get home later. Hmm. It says notification still take me to July first after. Somebody said notifications still take me to July 1st of a discussion thread. Even though I have already read the 30 page post since then, please fix this mess as soon as possible. Also, when I have no notification, I have I have to click four times to get the discussion thread in the in, that interests me. I hate the desktop update with a passion. <laughs> He said, cannot agree. RAM usage is around 500 to 600 megabyte. He says, somebody said, high RAM usage, unsmooth interface animation sometimes. Then someone said, cannot agree. RAM usage is around 550 to 600 megabytes after clear start. And this is okay for the CEF, which of course does not change the fact that this is an absurd value. Steam should be written, Steam should be written in C++ and take half of that maximum load. Uh, Steam Web Helper is very stable since two to three 
latest updates on my system. Previously, it's indeed crashed, but now it looks good. <laughs> yeah, people love their Steam Decks, man. People said, uh, another person said, you still haven't fixed, and then it says in parentheses, or even looked at, close parentheses, the issue with PayPal and F2A hardware keys, authentic authentication, authentication, <laughs> make it impossible to pay to pay for games using the client. Oh no no, no. they'll fix that. <laughs> they'll, they're gonna they're gonna fix that. <clears throat> he said somebody said you still haven't fixed or even looked at the issue with PayPal. Okay, so, no somebody responded to it. He said uh, the whole payment system of Steam is falling apart. As many times as I buy something, I have a message about failure of transaction, but the product will still appear on my account. There are archaic framework slash API slash system that are increasingly out, out of step with reality. I hope Valve has a plan to completely overhaul the platform, just like they overhaul the client, because at this point they are several, they are several years behind and the problem will only increase yeah, Valve, get on it. <laughs> anyway, somebody say, let's go. DPI scaling is fixed. <laughs> oh, yeah, they look. Oh, yeah. yeah they, send, they send their feedbacks, man, and Valve listens and they respond. Mm. Anything else? Yeah, I'm going to leave both links in the description box. So, yeah, you can read, read the articles for yourself by here. You Steam Deck fans are covered when it comes to deals, games, and updates, man. And every update makes the user experience even better on Steam Deck. Later. But anyway, leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, to the Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Poor Dark Side.